Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian preview. North American wrap. As you can see here, our first chart of the morning for you is there were some positive comments coming out of uh, Freeland and then Trump said trade talks are going well with Canada. Canada would like to make a deal. And here you go. Take a look at... Um, Dollar cab was around 131. It's trading around 131.30 when um, we started. Uh, we started getting short, and then once we broke this this hourly low here, 131.10, went straight down. It got down to 130.42 was a low. Um, on the daily, you can see um, what it looks like. You know, we can draw a Fibo here just to kind of get an idea where support is. And uh, that comes in 3 the uh, 2 thirds Fib. So it stopped right around the half Fib at 50-ish, call it, and then 17, and then down at 129.66. Um, if indeed the talks are going well, I, I think that we can see some more downside. Um, you know, dollar cads had a nice little up move, and the dollar is kind of looking a little um, heavy in general. Here's an Aussie dollar chart. Um, we had this kind of doji type day. Take a look at Kiwi. Kiwi is really interesting to me. Kiwi is like a perfect doji day. This was today's bar for Tuesday. Perfect doji day, and then some other indicators we're looking at also have um, an oversold condition. Um, you're not seeing it so much here, but we uh, we are venturing long Kiwi, we're long Aussie, we're long the Canadian dollar against the dollar. Um, let's take a look at sterling. There was some uh, something came out late in the day that. Um, there's some UK media reports that Brexiteers are said to plot to oust PM May. Um, you know, I think that's a bit of BS, but let's just take a look at the chart and see what happened. Let's go down to 15 minutes. That came out somewhere around here. So we, we were close to the highs of the day. Um, the, the, here's a good example of, let's just take a look at, hold on. Let me show you the sterling chart. This is a 15 minute chart. Let's just go back here to, what is this? Earlier today. So this is just today's today's bar. This is 2.15. This is kind of London open. Spike higher on um, the wage data. Came back down, closed here. 15 minute bars, bear in mind. No clue what that bar was. Negative Brexit comments slash rumors of a fat finger. Cable went from 130.70 to 129.90. Look where it closed. Good luck trading this fucking currency. It is a disaster. All right, but that if that wasn't enough volatility for you during your London morning, Here's another one. 130.10 ish high down to 129.65. Oops, back up to 130.41. This is right when I, uh, this is like the first couple hours that I was in. Closed unchanged, back down. You know, smaller tails, smaller tails. And then it got hit again on this um, UK. Uh, press report. These secret plans had dumped the checkers Brexit proposal if the EU leaders rejected, you know, trying to throw May out, blah, blah, blah. Um, this currency is almost, it's it's pretty much trading like an emerging market pair right now. Um, I would say that there's other currencies you might want to be involved with and not this one. Uh, so that's cable. We don't have anything really on the docket tonight. There's no big economic data coming out of um, in Asia. Um, 
What else? Why don't we let's pop over to the weed stocks? MJ. Let's take a look at these daily charts. Kronos unchanged. Tilray, I'm short. It made a new all time high today. I'm short, but I'm short via puts. Um, Tilray seems to be just. Yeah, Tilray and. Uh, and Green Thumb Technologies are the big ones. This is their uh, Canadian one. Th this is a been a painful short. I put it on here. Got down to seventy three dollars. It's now making new highs. Um, this is what they call a parabola. By the way, huge believer in the space. Some of these things have gotten ahead of themselves. Uh, just be careful with these. You want to talk cryptos because, you know, the overall currencies are not all that exciting. Bitcoin Doji Day. Interesting. Break even for mining is somewhere like, depending on your um, what you're paying for energy, electricity prices, somewhere between like 4,800 and 6,000. So there's big protection down here around the 6,000 level. Ethereum. Doji-ish type day after a pretty significant, um, sorry, that's Bitcoin still. Yes, yeah, so we had two Doji days in Ethereum and it's down again, down again today. Some point this is going to become cheap and I think, <laughs> I think you can find a, uh, here's Ripple. This is, a, this was one that we had for a long time making new lows so you know I, I there's been a lot of talk about people selling out of their uh crypto positions and buying weed stocks the next bubble you know 2017 was the crypto bubble 2018 at least starting in the middle of august when constellation brands decided to invest five million canada in canopy growth um, which put in the bottom, and we'll, let's just pop over to the marijuana stocks again. I mean, these are good day trades, there's no doubt. I mean, the, the, the percentage moves are massive, and um, you can see where August 14th, the Canopy Growth stock was, you know, it was. it was up a little bit on the year, but not much. It was getting hit hard. And then we got the news here from Constellation Brands. And it's basically gone from, you know, closing at $42 to got to a high of 73. Tilray is the biggest one, though. I mean, Tilray, since its IPO, has gone up like uh, it's 250% or something crazy. Um, this will correct. And we'll correct half this move, as all the, all the cryptocurrencies did uh, initially. So this... Be nimble in these stocks because they are super volatile. Uh, Good luck was talking about the next move in the dollar is going to be down and dollar is going to end lower at the end of the year. You know, we like listening to Good luck. He's a smart guy. Um, I think that, you know, I think we should pay attention to that. I don't have a strong view between now and year end. Um, but it is always fun to listen to his webcast so you can google it and see what he's got to say about markets anyhow you'll hear from us on the european open and good luck trading today cheers